Mr. Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff. Where well, today we're doing Wizards Afternoon Tea at the Wizards Exploratorium. Here you get to um, create your own concoctions of tea. Um, so right now we are going to try peppermint and nettle. Uh, no instructions as to how much to put in. So no. So there's a. I feel like we should have more peppermint than nettle, right? And there's like little bags there that you. Um, Oh, I can smell the peppermint. Oh, I can really smell the peppermint. It smells good. Like that. Oh, you pop it into your cup, do you? Not into your... Uh, no, I'll have the same as you. Oh, okay. And now we're going for um, lemon and ginger with a breakfast blend. This one is this one is for me because Craig hates ginger. So they do have a menu here of wizardy and witchy type drinks. Um, when you do order online, if you add one to your online order, um, you get 10% off it. So we've added the bubbling shot of death onto ours when we ordered it. So that will be coming up shortly.
how we wait. Ah, there we go. That's the Wizards Afternoon Tea done. Uh, yeah. That was really, really fun, wasn't that it? That was brilliant. Yeah, that, that was, was really fun. Absolutely fantastic. That mm. was really, really cool. Um, quite quite good on the food front actually. A lot of the time when you go for afternoon tea, you end up either taking it home or wasting it, don't you? Because yeah. It's just so much. Yeah. Um, but that was quite nice. It was just enough. It, it was, was just, just enough. Food, yeah. It? It food was, was really good. Mm. Yeah, it was really, nice. Really nice. It was nice food. Sort of had there were selection sandwiches, weren't there? Savory scone, um, and then as usual some cakes and a sort of pan of cottery kind of cottery thing. thing. Yeah, I really liked that. I feel like it was one of my favourites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of ate that as one of the first sweet things. I didn't yeah. think it was going to be, um, a, you know, one of the best things, but actually I should have until last because it was yeah. absolutely delicious, it was really wasn't nice. it? It was really good. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get to brew some tea. So I think you saw the first tea where you sort of mash up some ingredients um, and put it in a tea bag and, and brew one each there. Um, and then the second lot of teas is sort of like um, it's guided, isn't it, by the potion yeah. master? Yeah. Um, and you pour you pour all the ingredients into a tea bag. Although everyone's was different because ours was just sort of a. A, a sort of pale green, wishy washy yeah. sort of greeny colour. Some people are like bright, bright blue. Bright blue, yeah. yeah. Um, so it looks like you all get something different, which is cool because you get an individual mm. experience. Um, and then you get to pour the serums in, which change, changes the colour of it a little bit. Um, and then you can add little droplets of stuff to sort of make it your own. So you, it's, again, individual experience, mm. everything is different, isn't it? You, Sort of make your own tea. I really like that element of it. I really like that you are. I mean, you could get it drastically wrong. But <laughs> you could brew something that was absolutely disgusting, I suppose, mm. you? because you left your yeah. own devices. Uh, but I think that's really cool that you just get to sort of make it yourself and you get to do what you want. Mm. Um, we had that sort of dragon egg tree that was um, interactive, so you get to light up the teapot and you get to light up the glasses. Um, and you can chat. We didn't did realize until right at the end. But if you tap on, there was a certain bit where you could change. Yeah, the if colors. you tap the mushroom, wasn't it? If you tap the mushroom, no, it was want. near the mushroom. Yeah, oh, was it near the mushroom? Ah, I okay. One of them turns it off, which um, yeah, yeah, no, so it turned it off. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. So the um, one of the hosts had to come and turn it back on for yeah, us. <laughs> we had to turn it back on. Yeah. Only me. Um, yeah, one of them. Um, what did you say about the one? Um, oh, it changes the colour, so you can choose yeah. what colour you want the, the, the sort of tree to be um, and then at the end you probably saw that you turn it into that sort of rainbow variety of LEDs. It was really cool, mm. that was really, really, really cool. cool. One yeah, of the really most interesting that. afternoon teas we've yeah. ever been for, I've got to say. Um, and it's really, I like the fact that it's a, it's a three-storey, really narrow, sort of rickety old building. Isn't yeah, it? they said it's 600 of, years old, they mm. said. Yeah. So that, that obviously just sort of adds to the the wizardiness. Yeah. Wizardiness is our word? We're going to copyright that one. That'll go down with Halloweenery, won't it? Wizardiness. Um, yeah, I think that kind of adds to it, the fact that it's all sort of creaky and it's all very wooden and it's an old building and the staircase is um, really narrow. It just sort of makes it more immersive, doesn't it? It sort of gives it a great feel to it. Um, and then they, they shut the curtains as well when they're doing all the sort of light up stuff so that it looks better. But that was fantastic that yeah was definitely really good. That was really, so, really cool definitely if you're ever in soho and you have the time then definitely try it out yeah. in london yeah, yeah. Make your way yeah. Across. 
Uh, they have got more than one venue. Um, I don't know if they do afternoon tea on all of them or whether it's just this one. Um, but we are, um, later on, we are going to the Cauldron Pub, which is also, or Cauldron Bar, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but that's also owned by the same people. We're doing a potion making class there, probably quite similar to what we did with the teas there. Um, but we'll see. We're quite looking forward to that. And it'd be good to see what one of the other venues is like as yeah. well, see how they differ, see how similar they are. Um, so yeah, that'll be, that'll be cool. I'm excited for that. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you want to see that, obviously subscribe, hopefully you've enjoyed this, um, drop us a comment down below, especially if you've ever done this before, we'd really like to know um, what colour your tea was, what your experience is, and if you've been to any of the others, um, like this video if you've enjoyed it, and we will see you next time we do stuff.